Hey, this is Justin from Gold Penguin, and today we're going to be going over adding a search bar to your website and then displaying the search results on an individual search page. So this is fairly simple to do. Uh, Breakdance has a search feature already installed, a search form, so we can go ahead and add it to our site. I'm going to put it to the right of the search of the title. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a little div over here and let's get everything moved in here and then moved in here. Um, I do want them to be next to each other. So we'll go into layout, into horizontal, and make sure they're aligned in the center. And we will be adding a little gap between both of these. Um, so actually, let's vertically align it as well. And then let's add a one rem gap in between. So just like that, we now have our search bar on the site. If you click on it, it will look like this. You can customize it however you want. If you want to change the background, um, really anything you want. So yeah, we're not really going to focus on the styling though, just the functionality. So let's head over back into this page now and let's see what happens when we look up something. So if I type in hi, it will bring us to this nice archives page that will have anything with hi in it, which is the default, pretty great. Um, if we do want to change anything though, we're going to make a custom template, which we will be doing in this video. Another thing is we are selling homes on this website. And so if we want to only show homes that we're selling, um, one of the homes is called, I think it's one, two, three. So we can see we've got one, two, three house Ave. Perfect. But uh, definitely something that people might want to do is only have houses get displayed. So even if you have a blog called 123, we're not going to do that. We're only going to return uh, types of houses. So basically we need to create one of these pages, um, which is a search results page. And we can do that by going into the breakdown settings under templates and then going to add template and search results, just like that. So you can click on the settings and let's view what this is. Um, call it whatever you want. It is a oops, a search results page. I'm not going to add any conditions right now. The conditions are a little different than any other template. You don't really get to pick as much because this is a, a search template. Um, so we can't say, you know, we want this on certain pages. It's just, hey, it's going to show up on the search results page. So um, yeah, let's, let's get rid of that. And then I'm going to add a random priority to it, save it, and let's get into editing it. So the way we're going to edit this will be pretty similar to anything we've done before. We're going to add a section to this page and then inside of here, we are going to add a query that says what the user is searching for and then we're going to display the posts. So to do this, we will go ahead and add a heading and let's go and change this to be dynamic and we're going to scroll down. Um, I'm, I haven't found an easier way of doing this. There might be an easier way, but I mean, this is still pretty simple. But um, yeah, I, I would expect there to be kind of a, a query tag here or, you know, like, hey, what is the search thing? But uh, I guess this is the way to do it in URL and query. Go to URL parameter and click on this to open it. And the parameter name is going to be S and S stands for search. If you do type anything on uh, into a search bar and you open it in a new tab, what the URL will look like is like goldpenguin.org slash and then it's an a question mark or with an S. I'm going to put it up on the screen right now to show what it looks like. But if you get rid of that question mark and basically just say, hey, what's the parameter? It's going to be this S. And so in here, we're going to call this search result. Uh, let's search <laughs> result for, and then we'll do that. And so now after this, it's going to say, you know, what the term is for. Actually, I'm just going to do um, search and then the result. Okay, so once this is done, we can go ahead and add the block to this. Um, I am going to center this. I guess we, we could go ahead and center the section. But again, that's really up to you. We are going to add a post list in here. And then inside of here, we will go to query and go to custom edit the query. If we, if we leave it by default, any kind of search will show up here, kind of like what we saw before. So if you want a page that will show everything, there you go, you could do it right here. But if we do want this to show our custom query, go into the custom edit query and change post types. And you should see what you're looking for in here if you just want to do products or whatever, but we're just going to do houses for today. And then like this, we have our two houses here. So I'm going to save that and we're going to hop into the front end of our site. That's not going to take us anywhere. Uh, we're going to go right here. And then if we look up one, two, three, we will have the link to our house, which uh, we definitely would want to customize this more, but here's the result. And then when you click on this, you go right into the house post of yeah, that custom post type. So that's pretty much it.
Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Please leave a like if this helped you. Uh, it took me a while to figure out. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks.